I've lived in the United Arab Emirates for most of my life. And the national food of the United Arab Emirates, specifically Sharjah, just where I've lived throughout my life, is shawarma. No matter where in shawarma you are, there's at least like five banging shawarma spots there. And for the price, it's one of the most satisfying meals in the world. I'll be leaving the UAE to go to college next year and I don't think I'll have the same experience anywhere else as going to a small cafeteria, buying a shawarma, seeing the uncle there just take the bread, scrape off the chicken, the juicy tender slow cooked chicken, scraping it off and then putting it on that soft bread, slathering the garlic sauce over it and then putting in that crispy hot french fries and the pickles and the okay my mouth is watering we need to eat some shawarma but first this is not just any shawarma review series okay we are going to be looking for the best of the best the sexiest shawarma in Sharjah and for that we need to set some ground rules one no Dubai shawarma now this is because I am in Sharjah so it's easier for me to go to places in Sharjah and also we all know that Dubai shawarma is inferior to Sharjah shawarma and that is not an opinion that is a fact which you cannot disprove this is completely objective two no 10 dirham plus shawarma first of all I'm broke and the budget for the series is only five dirhams per this maybe six max that's the money I can afford okay D don't do too much with it please don't, we don't want some 5 star BS, this is shawarma. There are like three fundamental pillars to a great shawarma. One's the simplicity, second is the taste, and third is the price. So we're not looking for the 15 dirham shawarma here. Three, no meat shawarma. What the hell is a meat shawarma? This is a chicken only zone. If you think meat shawarma is better than chicken shawarma, you should go back to India or something. Where they put carrots in the shawarma, man. And four. We will not be trying any spicy shawarma. I know, I know, don't, don't, don't fight me, please. This is because we want to keep it fair and even to all places. And some places, when you ask for the spicy shawarma, they just put some hot sauce over it. It sucks. It's not the point. You're supposed to marinate the spice into the chicken to make it spicy. Don't just put hot sauce over it. That's dumb. So yeah, we're going to make it fair. No spicy, no Mexican, no zinker and all that. So where do you think we will be starting? Something like Laffa, Aruz Damascus? No. We don't start off this amazing series with some overrated BS. And yes, I said it, Laffa is overrated as hell. They used to be pretty good, but now they're mediocre at best, okay? No, no. We're starting off with a place right below my building, which I'm not going to name because I don't want you guys to find out my location, because that's weird. It's like simplicity to the core. There's nothing extra. There's just nothing too much of it. And it's one of my favorite shawarmas ever, to be honest. We've secured it. This one's pretty thin, but it's long as well. So it's pretty like even. It's like fine. Look at that, bro. It's that such bread. It's not that kumbu's thing. It's such bread though. It looks sexy. Another bonus is uh, in this place, if you buy four shawarmas, you get fries for free. So I just had some fries. They were mediocre to be honest. They weren't that crispy. Hopefully that does not reflect the shawarma because it does look good. Mm. And another reason why this one's really good is this. They don't put the sauce in here. They let you dip the shawarma into the sauce. And they give you a lot of the sauce too. So it's not like too dry. To be honest, this is already good without the sauce. But with the sauce, it takes it to a whole nother level, man. And this is like, the garlic sauce tastes different compared to other places. It tastes more mayo-y but in a good way I like mayo look at it look at it I don't know how to like say okay, but it's all chicken there's no filler there's no lettuce who puts lettuce with chow on it it's all chicken some they put like some 
french fries in there just to like give it a different this thing but it's just the bread and the chicken I just finished that shawarma, but since we buy four, I always get a half one extra. Me and my dad share the last one, but I'm actually full. Even though this is pretty thin, since it's like filled with chicken, so filled with chicken that it's actually very filling, very satisfying. So I'm I'm full, but I'm also fat. So. Oh, my dad surprised me. He put a chili in it. <laughs> I don't know if I'll have a rating scale for this, but that's a nine out of ten. Easy nine out of ten. Plus points with bread. Bread is amazing. Got a great chew. The sliced bread is amazing. Sliced bread always wins over the normal bread. And uh, chicken. Chicken is juicy as hell. And then the sauce. Um, sauce is like I. If I try to be a bit too pretty. I, if I try to be too much of a critic, uh, I would say the sauce is a bit overbearing at times. It just makes me feel more full and it's like, I feel more sick after eating it. Like while eating it, it's a great experience. But after this, like that sauce just makes me go like, <clears throat> the negatives, I only have to say no pickles. That's the only negative. French fries are like, okay, the pickles. That pickle chili at the final sharma just made it go all the way like mm, yeah. You have that spice as well and just like crunch and the crispiness and like that acidity that cuts the creaminess of the garlic sauce. So now every single sharma is gonna to have to compete with this sharma. So this is kind of episode zero. This is the pilot. This is like the start of the journey. Now I will be going to different areas of Sharjah with my friends trying to find out their favorite trauma places and some places that I found out and trying to just like see what's up. Basically, just find out the best trauma place because after this year I, I, I probably won't be able to do that. So thank you for watching Shawarma Search. Uh, this is the new series that we got. It's basically an excuse for me to eat shawarma. But if you like it, do all that shit that YouTubers tell I'm too lazy to do it. Okay, bye.